so I thought I would bring you into a different location. My bedroom seems to be much brighter today for some reason than the other room. Um, so I thought it'd probably be easier just to film in here. I'm trying to kind of like move all the clutter that you might be able to see in the background, but hey ho, that's life. Um, I've come on today to show you my latest in beauty box. It is the Summer Beauty Halos Edit. There we go. And actually, there was an item that came on two days after I ordered this. So this is my first box, but I have ordered another box. You are able to do that. I get nine items for £18 because I am a previous um, box holder. I don't know, previous subscriber to when they changed their plan. See, it was three, six and nine, but now it's only 12, it's six, 12. That would be good, wouldn't it? So now it's only six, but if you were a previous subscriber on three or nine then you could keep that however if i did decide to leave because i wasn't you know kind of wanting any more products for a while i would come back and have to go into the six item box but for the moment i'm on nine items and you know i'm actually really enjoying that buying things for um giveaways for friends you know picking things that aren't just for me so this is a summer beauty edit and um, i'm just gonna open the box and pull things out one by one and show you what i've got so this first item here is by Dr. Organic and it's Bioactive Skincare Deodorant. Now it says it doesn't clog your pores, it's got no aluminium in it and um, it's organic hemp oil. Now this put me off a wee bit. So it's 50 mils um, and you do get lots of these from like Holland and Barrett and places like that, different scents. But it's vetiva and patchouli oil. Um, I'm just going to rub it on here. Yeah, I can smell the patchouli, but there's definitely no hemp smell. I didn't want to smell like um, cannabis, <laughs> to be quite frank with you. Not that I would know what that smells like, honestly. So yeah, so it actually smells like patchouli. It's a bit of a different scent for me, but um, I think I've ordered this in my second box as well. But I thought, oh, I want to try it. And I do like the roll on deodorants as well. And Dr. Organic is a really good um, skincare brand with lots of natural uh, ingredients as well. So I don't know what the bioactive means, but I think it's um, formulated using organically certified and natural extracts. So yeah, so, so things that are kind of good for you, good for the, the planet, I think. The, talking about things that are good for the planet, I couldn't actually resist. So on the Monday, I think when the items dropped, I went in and ordered straight away. I don't always do that. But there was this brand here called Ecotherapy and they had shampoo, conditioner and a hair mask. So this is a, um, it's called Ecotherapy Revive Shampoo and it's a micellar detox detoxifying shampoo. It says it's 100% vegan and certified organic shampoo. It's uniquely formulated to cleanse and hydrate your hair and scalp whilst protecting the colour of your hair. So there it is there. But I'm going to tell you a wee bit more about the, uh, the, the Eco credentials. I can't speak today and spit my words out here. So it's 100% vegan and certified organic as I've said. It's 100% um, ocean waste plastic. I love this. So it says by choosing this particular bottle made out of 100% ocean waste plastic you have supported the work to clean up the world's oceans. So I think that's fantastic. I wish more brands would do that actually. Um, and stop the single use kind of plastics but I am going to be um I do use more shampoo bars and things like that now but um it's sulfate and silicone free and it's got a color guard complex so it says here Maria Neela from Stockholm 350 mils and I think when I looked it up on the website everything was about 15 pounds so I don't know I wouldn't use this every day because it says it's detoxifying but um oh it's got that squirty lid that's quite good I always find that stops you using too much. I'm going to pour some out. Oh, it's clear. There you go. It wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, it smells lovely and fresh. It smells nicer than my deodorant. <laughs> the next one I got here to complete the set was the um, Revive Conditioner. So it's a hydrating conditioner as well. And again, 100% ocean waste plastic. How fantastic is that? I think it's brilliant and you know me I could not resist the hair mask and it is a hydrating hair mask and it's for all hair types hair and scalp we'll leave it on for three minutes for a for a 
deep acting effect, apply to towel, towel dried hair and leave for five to 10. Then you rinse it thoroughly. So the key is, okay, it's not to do what I used to sometimes do and just add it on in the bath. Sometimes I do that if I just want to treat it like a conditioner, but to actually towel dry your hair and to, to make sure that that's when you apply it so that it absorbs more than it does when it's wet, I think it must be. And it's got the Leap and Bunny and it's vegan. What a fantastic brand, Maria Nila. I've never heard of that before, but um, anything that's kind of <laughs> more environmentally friendly at the moment seems to be right up my street. We've only got one planet, haven't we? But here I am ordering boxes and boxes of stuff, so I'm probably being a hypocrite. I picked up the Faith in Nature Coconut and Shea Butter Shampoo Bar. It's got no SLSs or parabens. I haven't actually tried the Faith in Nature shampoo bars, but I will open this one to show you. So it's white. Um, oh, it's like the soap. Oh, it smells gorgeous. So yeah, it, it's um, it's got the Faith in Nature printed in it, like their soaps do. Oh, that's got a lovely scent. It's coconut. It reminds me of holiday. I was just gonna say something reminds me of holiday, and it's the coconut. So I think you can pick these up. They're not too expensive to pick up. They're one of the cheaper shampoo bars, but um, I'll give that a go and I'll let you know how I find it. You know I love the Ethique one, um, but it is a bit more on the pricier side. And I picked up this SBC Hyaluronic Gel Concentrate Face and Body, and I think it's cleanser. It's got AHAs, Hyaluronic Acid, Fruit derived DHAs from papaya, apple, pineapple and sweet orange to instantly replenish moisture and improve skin texture. So you, it's not a cleanser, you apply to clean skin as a versatile moisturiser, primer or mask. It may be positive and negative. Um, it says here, the gel may be used all right. So I've got this thing that my husband bought me and you, you put it on your face and it's got so that you can obviously use it with one of these machines because it's ionized and there we go so it's a kind of moisturizer i just picked it up i've <laughs> got a thing about skincare so i thought i'll pick that up this is another one that i've got um already it's sukin which is australian and natural blemish control clearing facial wash it's got no parabens in it and it says quince pomegranate and willow herb Work together to purify skin while removing dirt and impurities. Blemish prone, I can't, blemish prone skin type. So there's 20 mils. But um, I picked up another one of these. But that I'll take that up to my son um, up in Aberdeen. Because I think sometimes he gets skin breakouts. He used to have acne when he was younger. Um, but he still does get the odd breakout. So do I, to be honest with you. But... Um, I'll take that up for him. I picked up another Anika. Um, this is amazing mascara. And I still can't believe it's in here. Um, it's vegan, not tested on animals. It's um, the world's highest certified beauty brand. One of them, trusted worldwide. Um, oh, it's Australia. It's also got, an, oh, it's head office in Australia. And it's also got an office in England. Designed in Italy. Designed in Australia. Made in Italy. So there you go. So it's a vegan. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It says here it's vegan um, formula to add volume and lashes to create a daring look. Great amplifying effect in a single coat. Buildable, dramatic, voluminous, rich, um, glossy pigment, protected, vitamin E, sunflower oil, nourishing. Sounds fantastic. However, I can only use waterproof mascaras most days so this will be going aside which is what i've picked it up because i thought that'd be another thing to pop in the um giveaway box so i've popped that up i gave away the glam eyes from rimmel that i got for myself so i picked up another one um and there's a couple of leaflets in here <sighs> here we go oh so there's a code here um what's the code for five pound off for members any collection in july and august and it's lb card h u a c n if you wanted to use that code um it also comes with 25 percent off faith in nature faith in nature also do a lot of these big bottles um of shampoo body wash that you can use to refill um because that one's massive so 25 percent off 
and that's because I've got the, the shampoo bar. So they're giving me 25% off and the code is FIN latest 25. So <laughs> FINLA test 25. FIN latest 25 all one um, word and you put that in at the checkout if you're interested. Down below, I think I've got a description if, you've, if you're a new subscriber for, is it 10% off a code down below? And this tells you a little bit about um, the ecotherapy, the hair care. So it's a leaflet that you get with it. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. So it just tells you about their philosophy, hair and nature. You choose 100% hair care, 0% sulfate and silicone. Um, organic ingredients, recycled ocean waste plastic. So you're making a conscientious effort to move towards a friendlier future. I think that's fantastic. So it just tells you a wee bit about your choices. So it says here, this is interesting, the packaging we use is always climate compensated through reforestation projects. With Revive, we have taken it one step further by using recycled ocean waste plastic. We provide the world with sustainable beauty and free our oceans of plastic pollution at the same time. So that's fantastic. So what they must do is, um, you know, to control the, the, the production of what they make, they must actually kind of plant trees and things like that. And now they're doing this, which is fantastic. I mean, it's not cheap, but... It depends how long it lasts. If a little goes a long way, then £15 for a bottle of shampoo might not be a bad thing. You know, it might actually last and be kind of more... I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. If it lasts longer than just buying a cheaper shampoo, then it might actually be worth the money. I do like the ethos and the philosophy of the company. Um, so there you go. However, it will then go in my plastic bin. And I don't know what they do with the plastic. Do they recycle it what happens with that but yeah fantastic um feel really happy with my box this month so i got the shampoo conditioner and mask i also picked up the shampoo bar which i must try i might let steve have one i tell him never to touch my feet i was like don't touch it don't touch it it's mine he thinks some of it Although I gave him a good shower gel and he was moaning that it made him itchy. Like I personally made him itchy. And I said, well, Brandon doesn't complain. And he said to me, well, would you give Brandon all the expensive stuff? And I was like, well, that's not cheap. <laughs> Although Brandon is sitting with my illness. Yeah, so I, I do get his point. So I've also got the hyaluronic gel concentrate. So it's kind of like a moisturiser. But I know before I use it, I'll have to Google and see what it does. I picked up the Dr Organic hemp oil deodorant. I don't smell, well, kind of hippie-ish, isn't it? Patchouli and bitibi and hemp. <laughs> so I smell like a hippie in a good way, maybe. <laughs> and the Sukin Blemish Control Clearing Facial Wash. So that was my nine items. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll probably be back home with my second box soon. I don't do that very often, but there was a product and it was the Tangle Brush. Um, and it came on a couple of days after this and I think I ordered another conditioner and another mask because the shampoo was out and I thought well they're £15 each on me as well so anyway guys I'll catch up with you soon have a lovely day if you've picked anything this month let me know if um let me know what you think of the items that I've picked, if you think they're really good, if there's anything you would like to try. So I'm going to get off now and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys.